Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Friday, April 14th. Tricky, tricky day in the stock world yesterday. Uh, let's pull this up. This is the daily chart. You can see um, Wednesday. Big bearish engulfer. Um, put in a low at uh, 41.77, 41.78. We made a marginal new low early uh, at 41.77 on Thursday, so we kind of gave you the feeling that um, this was going to be a directional bar. Wednesday's was going to be directional. Of course, you can see Thursday's bar. The direction of travel was north, um, totally fucking anyone who was short, closing above this little downward sloper. Um, and that downward sloper is not super powerful, but it just kind of defines lower highs this year, per se. It's from last September. Um, 42.10, very, very important. That's the high this year. Um, retail sales today, Michigan today, industrial production today. This looks like she's going to go higher. Looks like she's going to melt up. Um, break some hearts. That looks like uh, looks like the pattern that's uh, it's kind of been happening now all month. So since since April first, we've just kind of been in the melt up mode. Uh, we're not certainly going to go long. We might try a short if we get. Um, we get up to that 142 if we get up to 4235 which is your stretch zone um, according to our systems here Aussie same chart everybody's short this thing looks like she wants north um, this actually looks like a break trade 6795 you can just say 6801 there is some minor resistance up here at 68.14. But if you look at this Aussie chart and you look at the Aussie yen chart, which is this bad boy here, you see this was basically the same exact chart as dollar yen at 133.80. 134.05 was the high end dollar yen, but the point of this chart is the market needs to, the market is going to test this it's going to seek it's going to try this uh, anyone who's short is going to have a stop here at 9015 this is what F fx does um, and it's just a, a level to watch right so if you want to get long up here you have to be super careful right you, you pay the 15s you might leave a you know a figure stop a, a tight stop or you might leave a 13 stop you might you know if, if this really accelerates you got to see what's going on, um, and then if you want to fade this, if you think this is going to do a dollar yen and just go through 25 points and then collapse because retail sales is going to be strong, <clears throat> um, you sell back down through maybe you know 90.05. The point of it is, is this is just a level to watch, right? So. <clears throat> Excuse me, the last high uh, yesterday you can see is 17. This high here on April 4th is 17, 16.8. This high here is 05. This high here is 19. This is on March uh, 15th. So just keep an eye on this. People are short Aussie. It's the same as being short stocks. Short Aussie, yeah, the same being short stocks. This is the uh, FU trade of the month. Be careful. Could be some more pain. For us, we're just watching this level very, very closely. Um, we'll try longs through it in our uh, immutable uh, break trading style. Um, I often have to remind myself uh, everything that I own, every asset that I own around the world was bought through break trading. Um, as painful, as psychologically difficult as it is, 
if your discipline um, can be can be fruitful. Look at dollars R. This is like wildly risk on, right? It's lower dollar, but it's also risk on, and that's a big ass bar. 1840 down to 1805. We've made a new low here. Um, this looks like she's gotten ahead of speed, uh, ahead of steam. If you think we're going to do the heartbreak hill today with equities higher, Aussie higher, risk on today, um, maybe a Goldilocks retail sales. Not too hot, not too cold. What's that going to look like, right? So retail sales. They're looking for a minus 0 0.4. Imagine if that comes in at zero. So retail sales is flat. Um, that would be very risk on. So just uh, be aware, be careful. Let's let's look at this screw job here. Retail is almost 90% long dollar Swiss. Until that gets resolved, um, this is going to have a hard time going higher. As you can see, they've been long since 91 cents, and bang, bang, bang. It's like uh, it's like crazy, crazy bear. Um, this is now getting stretched. We started to dabble uh, yesterday at 70, just trading this. Um, the long side, we will get long today at uh, 92, I mean, 88 and a quarter. Why are we getting long this thing, even though retail is long? It's just, you know, it's, this isn't going to go to zero. And also, Euro Swiss um, has, I think, touched the lower bound, or what we think is going to be the lower bound here, which is 98 centimes. We think Euro Swiss has a good chance of going higher. And if Euro Swiss goes higher, even if Euro Dollar makes a new high, which is now stretched. Uh, this could carry dollar Swiss back onto the 89, uh, 89 handle. Uh, we're not diving in long here at 88.80. We're being patient and looking at 88 uh, and a quarter. Uh, we do have some long Euro Swiss on the books, uh, what we would call social amounts, but see how that goes. What else? The other stretch chart is, of course, Swiss Yen. This is just insane. Um, why this is happening, I don't know. Caused us a fair bit of heartbreak. Um, yesterday, we did get paid fading this. Today, the fade point is up right near 150 again. If you see this chart, the long-term Swiss Yen chart, you know, Swiss Yen, people forget, has come from basically 100. Now we're at 150 sort of the long-term highs for the last, I don't know, I don't want to pull up the monthlies, I guess. Let's put up the weeklies. Um, maybe the all-time highs. Um, 150, 144. Uh, why Swiss Yen is approaching the all-time highs is hard for me to fathom. Uh, one of the reasons we liked the Swiss Yen short uh, was the tarnishing of the Swiss brand, shall we say, when Credit Suisse sort of shit the bed. Uh, you see how well that worked out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, green days in a row, encompassing 600 points. Um, this is a classic FX maneuver where uh, irrationality can last longer uh, than people's P&L can last. I think Buffett said something. Market can be stupid longer than you, most people can be solvent. Be careful with this one, but I'm just pointing it out. It is fairly stretched. We did have um, an 80-point tail yesterday. Um, what drives this lower? I have no fucking idea. We gotta get we gotta clear out these retail longs in dollar Swiss or else we need a macro moment um, to change the direction of the dollar, and specifically dollar Swiss. So just pointing that one out. Been a pain in our ass. Um, but today 
looks like the fade's up at 150, uh, if we get up there. Should be a pretty quiet European morning. The back end, again, is, is where all the money's going to be made. Retail sales, industrial production, University of Michigan. Uh, let's look at Euro Norway. We talked about this yesterday. This looks like it's turning. Um, you know, we said below 43. It's time to get short. We're not fooling around with Euro Norway, but I just wanted to point it out. That's a pretty strong bearish bar. We are on very thin air, you know, up here at 1140. This is like an hysterical um, level <laughs> for Euro Norway. Uh, this looks like she can continue. What's oil doing? Uh, not much. 8250. Anyway, that's all I got today. Uh, look for the uh, soul-destroying risk, uh, risk on squeeze today. Uh, and be nimble, be flexible, and have a good weekend. Talk to you guys Monday. Ciao.